Hey guys, so we have to leave in like half an hour, so I need to film this video soon um, and get it uploaded, but it's tips on how to grow your hair long. So first of all, this is how long my hair is. Now I leave most of it in the front, but I'll push it to the back and spin it around. It's really long. It's down to my waist. Actually, it's past my waist, but um, even if I'm to walk away, it looks really long. This is very true. My hair is definitely long and thick. Um, and if you don't believe me that it's thick, it takes me somewhere around an hour to two hours to blow it dry sometimes. But I found a quick way to do that, which I will talk about in um, another video. And then... It takes me 16 hours to dry it naturally. So it takes a long time, and I am not lying to you guys. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Um, so yeah, so that's how long it is, and sorry about the mess all around me. I know it's a mess in my filming area, but that's my goal for this summer, is to make this look somewhat more presentable. So yeah. So. How do I grow it this long? How does it grow so fast? What treatments do I use? Do I use products? What do I do? Um, the number one thing I do is keep it clean. I wash my hair. I shoot for every other day. Sometimes it's every um, two days if I don't have time that day. But it's okay because my hair is not oily or greasy or dry or anything. My hair, um, I'm in love with. <laughs> yeah, I have, to, I have to admit. I'm going to pull this forward really fast. So that's that. Do I use heat products on it? Yes. Do I use a heat protectant? No. Um, heat, protectant, heat protectants to me are crap shoots. My hair is not burnt. My hairstylist that I go to doesn't use heat product on anyone's hair because she doesn't believe in heat product and I don't believe in heat product. Um, if you want to use heat product, that's fine, but in my opinion, it makes your hair greasier. And yes, it can protect your hair, but it can also damage your hair. So, careful with what you use. Second of all, when it comes to heat products, um, I mostly use a flat iron and I don't use heat products every day. I blow my hair dry when I get out of the shower right away. I dry it with a towel and then I blow it dry. Um, yeah, I know that's kind of bad for your hair, but I don't really care. Um, that's just how I feel. But... I don't use heat products every day, and I highly don't suggest to use heat products every day because it just damages your hair. Um, I use them like every two weeks or so, or I use them if I'm going on special occasions. Um, next thing that I get asked all the time, all the time, is how do I keep my hair um, out of my way? So a lot of the time you'll see me with my hair pushed back in a headband. That works great for winter when I don't want it in my face when I'm doing schoolwork or whatever. And it's not bad for your hair at all. But in the summer, this sits on my neck and it is the hottest thing you will ever know. It is hot as heck. Um, so what do I do? I stick it up in a huge ponytail above my head and it goes like that but what is that doing for my hair it is only damaging it and you can't help but in the summer want your hair off your neck but you need to be careful with what you do because you do not want to damage your hair and what it causes is then underneath it'll break some of this hair and then you'll have little like aliens coming out here that is not good, um, but there's no way to fix it. Um, just try not to do it as much, but I'm not. I mean, my hair grows back really fast, so it's not like they're dead forever and they're never going to come back, but it's not my best choice. So, that's basically it. Oh, shampoos and conditioners. Do not constantly switch from this one to that one to this one to that one to this one to that one. Stick with one. When you run out of it, you may want to try a new one if it didn't work for you. But don't 
try it once and then switch again and switch again and switch again because that makes your hair crazy crazy like you want to stick with one for a while use conditioner and shampoo a lot of people fall for the myth that shampoo does nothing and conditioner can do it all that is crap that is a crap shoot um you need shampoo and the reason you need shampoo and don't get two in ones please use separate products i don't care if it says two in one use a separate product um basically shampoo cleanses your hair and that is what your hair needs it needs to be clean so when you don't use a shampoo your hair even though it feels clean and it seems clean because you use the two-in-one conditioner or whatever it's not the dirt gets packed down and it, I guarantee you if you like dig your fingers in there and you rub your head like that you will have dirt under your nail that is crap um that is really disgusting you need to use shampoo I'm sorry people if you don't like spending a lot of time in the bathroom too bad use shampoo okay the next thing that a lot of people fall for is you only put conditioner down here and most people do this when they have oily hair I don't have oily hair but my mom does and she puts conditioner up here uh, not my mom my grandma and she puts conditioner up here the reason you need to put conditioner completely over your head is not just for the knots but conditioner has a well amount of good like um, moisturizers and it needs to get to your roots or else this part of your scalp will dry or this part of your hair will be all dry and this part will be all soft and pretty like you need to put it um I put most of it here but I still take a little bit and rub it in my roots because it is good for your hair and a lot of people like to use argan oil I don't use argan oil but I do like ar argan oil I get it done when I go to the salon to get my hair trimmed up that's another tip is get your hair trimmed like every one to two months you don't need to get this whole thing trimmed off to here, but I get a good inch taken off. And what that does is it's like refreshing your hair and it's giving it a clean start and a new slate and this and that. And it's good for your hair. Um, you don't need to go and get a short haircut and cut it even shorter. No, you can cut an inch off. I don't really care. But you do need to refresh your hair. Hang on, my computer's going to fall asleep. So. This is a long enough video. I need to upload this so I can upload a couple more videos. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, requests, anything like that, leave them down below, and I will talk to you all soon. Love you.